morning, good morning. Happy m m m Monday. <laughs> I think my brain auto completes to Wednesday. I always have to stop myself. But then it's great on Wednesday because I always know what day it is then. How are we doing, lads? Do we have a good weekend? Good morning, good morning. Mr. West. Mr. West, take it. Oh, that sucks. Have you got any, like, time off that you can take? Mmm. <laughs> yeah. But then he'd still have to do Thursday and Friday. Good morning. Mattress, good morning. Blood, good morning. Darth, happy Badger Day. Okay. <laughs> still no horror tag for Lake. Yeah, I did think maybe we should save it until, uh... Maybe we should save the last few streams until Spooktober, but... Mm. Not being here won't make me have any less work. Oh, that fucking sucks. I remember, yeah. Like, you take time off, but the work is just still sitting there waiting for you when you get back. And you're like, well, just so did no one cover for me? <laughs> you have to cover for other people, but other people don't have to cover for you. Get that. Hey, Herbal. Good morning. How was all of our weekends? Did I do anything that like noteworthy enough to tell you guys about? Oh, hello, love. Hi. Hi. Do you like to come here? No. <laughs> She's like, no, I don't. Hi. I'm not giving you a snack. <laughs> She's expecting it now. Well, there was shit, was it, Pixels? So stay inside. Hey, JC. You want your blanket on you? Is that what you want? I can put it on you if you want. I know, when is it my birthday? Pro or Riot? <laughs> I mean, I want the new game console. Jeez. What a little cutie. I think my camera's gone for a bit. Oh. <laughs> Little angel. Ooh, that's nice, Mr. West. That's nice. What are you gonna, um, like, what does it do? I feel like a grandma. I'm like, what does that Apple Watch of yours do? Hey, Sag, good morning. Oh, no. The aqua plane picks. Oh, fuck. And then people never slow down when it's like torrential rain. They're just <laughs> like, oh, I can keep going the same speed that I would be normally. And I'm like, no, you got to drive slower. <laughs> hey, I would not even. Yeah, she has got her stars on, doesn't she? Stars. I played some Unicorn Overlord. I did not read any more Murtog. <laughs> oh, I watched the World Puzzle Championships and I tried doing a speed puzzle myself. I tried doing a little bit of speed puzzling because I was curious to see whether I was um, I was quick or not. One hour, 40 minutes to do a 500 piece. So not particularly impressive, really. Well, I think it was quicker than, quicker than it could have been. I was worried that it was going to take me two hours to do it. Um, but it was slower. I would have liked it to have been out uh, an hour and a half. Did I have a walkthrough? I did have the box up. Yeah. Usually I do puzzles without looking at the box. I just um, 
because I, I like to make it a little bit more difficult on me. Um, so I just, I don't, I don't look at the picture while I'm doing it because then it's like a little surprise as well. Um, but I did look at the box when I was trying to do it quickly. Yeah, I need to find a system that works. I think I was, I wasn't good enough at sorting. Um, I maybe didn't give myself enough space to spread out. Maybe my coffee table isn't quite big enough to like spread out on. But I don't know whether I have more space on my desk or not, to be honest. Um, yeah, it wasn't as bad as I expected um, it to be. And the, like, the person, so it was a puzzle that they'd used at the championships, like, last year. And they did it in 40 minutes, was the fastest person. So I was like, well, I'm only an hour behind, so <laughs> it's not too bad. And lots of people didn't finish it in the hour and 30 minutes, so I think I would have been, like, 62nd or something. Oh, yeah. What shall I do after I assemble my first Evangelion waifu figure? So loud. The rain is so loud. Oh, bigger, thinner, refreshes faster. It's just more convenient Happy overall. Happy Saturday, everyone. Is it's it just come out? Again for a Oh, so 62nd place in that particular heat, I think. Or it might have been 64. It was like around the 60, somewhere in the 60s. Um, and in that, only in that particular heat. So, uh, it's difficult to say whether it would have been worldwide or not. We looked at each other for a few seconds and then he walked off into the woods. Wow, Cheryl. Oh, that extra tire I had. Can the tale. Stacks can be dangerous. Today's weather might be dangerous too. Oh yeah, You'll tell me about the weather. You'll need all day long. Ooh, and day. Back to the music. Okay. Yeah, because they do like three heats. I didn't bring the package. Oh shit. Three heats and then um, some semifinals and then a final. So. It's not, um... That's lighter than I thought. I don't want to overdo my ego. <laughs> I'm saying I'm in 64th of the world, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, I've got another puzzle. Um, oh, you're still I didn't deliberately here, huh? get the puzzles that were in the... Um, the championships, but I got... My parents bought me another puzzle for my birthday. It's one of the circles of colors um, puzzles. There, circle puzzles um, with little tur uh, tortoises or turtles, turtles on there. Um, so I might try and see how fast I can do that one. SJ, good afternoon. Oh, Max Payne. Never played a Max Payne game. That, that makes, makes two, of, two us. of us. When are your parents coming back? Who won the championship? Well, this year, um, it was uh, Norwegian. I think her name was Kristen. I think that's who. Who won this year? Dethroned the Spanish. Um, like there was a, a Spanish guy who was really um, like dominant for the past two years, Alejandro. So he's. Uh, I'm having this puzzle talk. Mattress, when was the last time you did a puzzle? Uh, yeah, so dethroned Alejandro. It was quite the, quite the like, ooh. Just like it is outside. Our art imitates real life. <gasps> Wrong side of 50. Here I come. Wow. Seven, thank you. Thank you very much for 50 months. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. Absolutely, that's halfway to a hundred. Half a century. So, thank you very, very much for tier three as well. Wow, wrong side of 50. Actually, they might just stay in Florida. 13. Florida, your parents? <laughs> What's so funny about that? They'll be back soon. Florida is expensive and honestly isn't all it's cracked up to be. Is Florida nice, Babs? 
They found a lovely and affordable place next to the beach. Sunshine and the beach get boring real fast. Nancy, you do well, I better be on my way. <laughs> well, Nancy, have a nice day. Fuck you, Nancy. Oh, you were having your tonsils out? Do you remember what the puzzle was? A negative Nancy. <laughs> Hang on, I do want to go in the dark room if I can. Maybe I can't. No. Mm, traditional place for older people to retire to. Is that for the, the sun? Deciding which way we should go about this today. Maybe, uh, so Reynolds is farm we might want to do last-ish. Yeah, okay, let's go down, around, do like a up all the way here and then we'll go to the farm. Is it nice, Frog? Oh, Frog, it does have Disney! Yeah, have you been to Disney Rook? It might be one of those things that people, you know, are like, oh, if I lived near Florida, I'd be at Disney World all the time. But in reality, people who actually live there, it isn't that crazy. I've been drawing every weekend. Ooh, that's pretty cool, Hannah. What, if, what kind of things do you draw? Well, that's pretty fun. I've always thought if I was going to do any kind of... I don't know what you... Like hand art? <laughs> Not like knitting. Like hand art. Art that you do with your hands. Not that you don't knit with your hands. But like... I guess more traditional art. I always thought painting might be something that I would choose. Not fiber arts. So like knitting is a fiber art. I don't know what you would call the other arts. <laughs> yes, mm. Jay. These look like bills. Feels bad. All the drains clogged up. Oh, being seen is too crowded. Uh, too expensive. Oh, it's gotten like a... It's too popular for its own good. Oh, we to Disney in the 90s. Was it enjoyable? I should imagine it's changed quite a lot. Don't like net. <laughs> don't like... <laughs> don't like submarines. Oh, you know what? I don't really like submarines either. I'm, no. I mean, I can appreciate them. You know, I've got a... a <laughs> I, you know, I appreciate how much engineering must go into the submarines. And I think being able to explore the bottom of the ocean is pretty cool. But I wouldn't want to get in one. Here's your mail. Oh, furs on animals. That's fun. I remember furs on animals being a really big like when they learn how to animate them it was a really big technological advancement i suppose like a small town like this jordan maybe but they've become less popular uh should we do this oh second right Oh, the Nautilus. Is it Nautilus? Yeah. Oh, sunny. <laughs> Feels like I'm in London. No buses are going to run you over there. Mm. For me, concerts are a bit too crowded. They're a little bit too... And people don't sit down, even if you get seats. People stand up. <laughs> What's 
wrong with sitting down at a concert? <laughs> no, it's been quite a nice little town. So we did have an awkward situation with the lady at the video store. She invited herself round my house. That was a little bit strange. And even after I said, no, you can't come to my house. She still then came to my house. So that was a great. Uh, but we have seemingly fallen in love with a very sexy lumberjack. And we helped him oppose the apartment buildings that a developer wanted to put out, which is why I've called him a NIMBY in the title. But I don't necessarily think he was wrong for opposing the apartments. I don't think where they wanted to put them was very good. They wanted to put them in the middle of the forest. But there's like plenty of space in the town centre for some apartments. There is no reason they had to go in the forest. Yeah. Yeah, it's a b really bad location. Like, the people at the apartments wouldn't be able to get anywhere either. And as far as I've seen, there's no, like, bus service or anything. They, you know, there's so much space to put them near the town centre. Oh, people would just show up. It's a small town thing. Yeah, I was, I was like, please don't come to my house. And she was like, okay, I'll be there at six. And I was like, no. <laughs> Excuse me, you cut in front of me. That's rude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, but, so, uh, our boss was being investigated for doing illegal things while on the job, and I just thought, probably not a good idea if I start drinking and, you know, smoking the magic mint while I'm on the job. <laughs> and then it caused an accident. You know, when I was overtaking, I was like, this is probably not a good idea, but... Yeah, I already do enough traffic crimes. Ooh. You reasonably like submarines. Were they a bit spooky? Dark when you went in them? Yeah, I feel like I'd be a bit claustrophobic. <coughs> oh. Shit, I didn't mean it. <laughs> my, uh, my finger twitched as I sneezed. <laughs> thank you, lad. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so powerful that it changed the screen. There is one police car that I've seen driving around here. Oops. Right, this is the guy that is possibly doing the gambling ring. Um, but we're not quite sure what they're gambling against. So they were doing baseball gambling and some mystery gambling. Oh, yeah, the old lady as well. Yeah. You're right. Okay, fellow Providence Okians, it's time once again for the yeah, sent in letters lady. and announcements. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo, as we all know. Hey, folks. Just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Moe's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame, enjoy some whale performances, and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening. And maybe this is where we're going to get together with our you know who you are. Come join the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, folks. <laughs> And I'll be there too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music. <laughs> oh, no, it's just in the background. Songs. Mail carrier Meredith. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? No, I nearly did kill a couple of people, so there's a close call on the ghost drivers, but. Ghost drivers? No. Yeah, you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> nope, haven't no, seen I them. haven't seen okay. them. any. I was just wondering. Fun like Don't that. bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. Yeah, all of them were trying <laughs> the wrong side I of reckon. the road. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. 
everybody in this whole country drives on the wrong side of the road. Oh, destroyers, submarines, and other things. We are under millions of tons of water. I don't know, that sounds pretty claustrophobic to me as well. Hmm. The real one was quite large. Not as grand to I think I remember. Yeah, who would drive on the wrong side of the road? God. This is quite nice though, atmospheric, right? Yeah, I see I use both sides of the road. <laughs> I like to spread my wings. You know what now? I am kind of interested to see whether they will add any people driving on the wrong side of the road. Just for, for funsies. Yeah, any <laughs> UK tourists. Yeah, I am. I'm doing it all. For... <laughs> yeah, see. You, somebody's got to create the ghost stories. <laughs> Someone's got to keep the small town gossip train going. much. I like to think I- oh, the package. <laughs> Here I was reveling in my parking. I was gonna say I think that I've gotten better at parking. That's right, than I thought. Go see that twat who works in the hotel. Oh yeah, I've got a job. It's not just driving around and parking and I thought my job was creating ghost stories. Is it not? Hello. It's the mail. I'm gonna keep interrupting. I'm busy. Him. Aren't we all? No! Damn it! I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks for breaking my concentration. He did a swear. You're welcome. You're welcome. <sighs> Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. Maybe you should try a different hobby. You know what? I can beat this damn game, and I'm not quitting until I have. Okay. Mm <laughs> No, I would want to unplug his, like... Oh, I don't want to be mean. Yeah, it's me fighting dog back. I can't turn... Oh, oh! Little lad, look! Sorry, not such a good parking job. Hello. Hang on, I think I can get him. Entirely sure this is where he's supposed to have loaded him, but he's not. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Come back here. Hi there. Have you found anything today? Oh hi. Uh, yeah, a few things. This guy's British. Tin can. Hoard of ancient gold but it's a bit strange that we don't even wrinkle. talk about it. I was it. lying about the coins. Ah, okay. Well, good luck. Thanks. Oh, good for Sharon. I was enjoying some time alone. Do you think I can run him over? Oh 
no, it wouldn't let me. No, it wouldn't let me. Just on my brakes. I wanted to create some of those drivers, okay? Can't do crime here. No, the only crime we can do is illegal betting. And drinking and driving, apparently. That's okay. It is on Steam, Dark Saint. It is. It might still be on sale. If you wanted it. It's very good. Very enjoyable. Um, if you like small town gossip, delivering posts. Yeah, it's very good. You can't do as much crime as you maybe would like to, though. And it's got Christmas DLC as well, which we'll play near Christmas. I have been a little bit in the Christmas mood. I don't know what it is. I think it's because the weather is kind of changing. Yeah, if I can't do crime, I'm out. I know. <laughs> they just let you do a little bit of crime. Like a little bit of low-level crime. Like running someone over. <laughs> hey, Ken. Oh, other people do crime, though. And we get to, like, watch them do crime. It's like watching them do get all the fun. Hey, tactical. Oh, sorry. That was all my fault. I wonder then if it was an reference staff because he was British. Oh yeah, you can. You can do mild vehicular crime. Like driving on the wrong side of the road. Speeding. You can speed as well. Uh, we can hit things, just not people. Like buildings. We cannot stop at stop signs as well. That's a pretty exciting one. They say stop, we say go. The leaves are already raining down everywhere. It's nice, isn't it? Hearing them like crunch under the floor. Yeah, I think it's because the weather's changing. I'm feeling a bit Christmassy, which is a bit. Say stop. I say go, go, go. Oh. Oh no. Oh really? Wow, it is an Easter egg. What a niche. That's great. That's so fun. Oh, did you rub? Did you ever find anything? I metal detector was something that I kind of always wanted as a kid. It's not, you know, like it wasn't my, my white whale. My white whale as a kid was a telescope. Really wanted a telescope. Oh, hello. Hey daughter, how are you finding my old job? Yeah, I have. Oh no. Oh Sorry, what was that? I couldn't hear you over the thunder. <laughs> I couldn't hear that bit about injuring people over the thunder. The rain is a bit louder than <laughs> The TTS is usually fine with this game, but the rain is a little bit louder than I expected it to be. Yeah, I really wanted a telescope growing up. That was my that was my white whale every Christmas. Can I have a telescope, please? <laughs> it would be at the top of my Christmas list. And my parents did, did get me one eventually. Not like, not, oh, eventually they got me one. But they did get me one, um... 
when I was uh, kind of a bit older, which was, you know, I probably appreciated it a lot more. Being older. And I still have it now. But I did always think metal detectors would be cool as well. Yeah, my years of begging. I was like, please. No answer. We're going to leave this package in the rain? That's the last of them. Alrighty then. I do still have it. I do. We haven't found the right kind of place to use it though. Because there's kind of, you know, light pollution. It's quite difficult to... to use it and get a good view. No, Greg says hasn't got me that tandem bike. I don't use it to snow for my neighbors, I don't. <laughs> well, so we have a jamboree or a party on Saturday, Sunday. So I was thinking that would be the perfect time for the murders to... You know, it's a small town, everybody turns up for a party. The lights go out, we hear a scream. Somebody is the murderer. Somebody in the room is the murderer. And we can't leave before Detective Badger finds out. The internet is bad. The store's a few low light pollution, though. Use my telescope. <laughs> Tell us why you would like to move here. Well, I've got this telescope, and I'd really... And so ends a week full of turmoil. Are you happy it's over? Only the Angels had lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. I guess you can't have it all, Frank. We're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? I don't know. I don't care about sports or gambling, but I want to, you know, I want him to ask me for my job. I'm like, no, no, I want him up to ask me to stay in my job, so. Hold the yep. line. Hold the line. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe you're my lucky charm. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait, this was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you, but they still haven't found someone else for the job. So Give it I to guess me. You can have it if you want. I want it. Wow. That sounds quite nice, actually. Of course. And it's a great job. You know what? Think about it. Monday morning when you return your stuff. You gotta run now. Red Sox are playing the Yankees. Yeah, getting along like he wasn't um, incriminated for betting, so. Hello? Hi, Meredith. Oh, it's yeah. Dad again. Steve Jobs. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, I think hi, we're going to well... have, have to kill Steve. <laughs> I think we're going to have to quit that job. I actually really loved it. Awesome. Maybe you should just keep doing it. Worked out well for me. Actually, it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. They haven't? Well, you know what I'd do. No, oh, hold on, Meredith. Well, let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oaks? Hi, Mom. Well, yeah, why not? I like it here. Well, P.O. is wonderful, of course. I know. But you've got so much going on. Do you want to leave? All that I do actually. Yeah, I guess that's what it comes down to. Is it just work related or are there other people involved? You know, no. any interesting, interesting ones perhaps? Well, 
There are yeah, this is postman nepotism. I yes. get my dad's no, job. There are. But are they really interesting enough to give up your entire career? I really think you need to think long. Oh, don't be a spoil sport, Hold Mom. On. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down. Right, thanks. No problem, Dad. I'll make sure to do that. Great, thanks. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. Is and it's that not a... about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. And I'm sure you'll be okay. I'll tell the dryer that he's on your mind. <sighs> thanks. And could you also pet him on his back every now and then? He likes that. Oh, running out of coins. Gotta we go. do get a free Bye, house, um, though, as care. well. We do get a free house. I hope so. you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. There aren't a lot of other restaurants around, okay, and that's... I'm pretty sure their food Hold is better breath. than Moe's. Don't worry about it, Robert. I love it here. Thanks, Meredith. You're such a kind person. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. Oh no, this is Try like 100 yam on my love for stressful <laughs> IT industry. Yeah. Maybe I can burn out soon instead of chilling out and having good mental health. <laughs> yeah, I love it, Mom. Yeah, you know what they say. Money's everything. <laughs> but we get a free house as well. Yeah, like it's not like we're giving up uh, this amazing. When, like it's not that a, we get a free house we get a sexy lumberjack who takes us out to dinner we have our best friend back i like and we get a job maybe a postman we get to rifle through people's stuff give your job to your mom if she loves it so much i don't even know what what do i eat I mean, he's paying, presumably, right? Because he said he's taking, like, he said that he, he's, like, not to assume that he's paying, but just, just the words that he used. Maybe I get the, the steak. <laughs> I kind of want pancakes, though. We're just staring at each other while I debate the steak or the pancakes. Get the meat. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, Amelia. We might end up marrying him as well. But look, they should put the apartments in a different place. I, I do agree with him that the apartments have no business being in the middle of a forest. Ah. Uh. <laughs> the three things that Meredith looks for. Um, so is <laughs> off with those eyes. I don't know what to order. Do you think he'd find the pancakes thing charming? Or do you think he'll find it charming that I want steak? <laughs> I think the thing that puts me off the pancakes is the mmm not the pancakes <laughs> you'd find it charming yeah you get the pancakes in the diner god this is it's so difficult yeah I'm deciding an execution <laughs> yeah yeah I feel like it comes off as a little bit cookie monsterish rather than Yeah. I just... Well, it kind of depends what salad it is. If it's like a chicken Caesar salad, I could... I could get on board with it. Just get a glass of water. <laughs> well, I'm probably still getting paid for my IT job, right? Uh, 
Oh, eeny meeny miny mo decided the pancakes. I'm gonna go with the steak. It's hard to pass up a juicy T-bone steak. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. I think I'll have a. Oh, not another. A water. Water. Gotcha, Robert. The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Don't okay. get any more lumberjack than that. Be right back, folks. Ashley, get the steaks out. Got double down with the Maureen's beer. The I've got to drive. Hear about the open mic night she's organizing? <laughs> got to drive. Yeah. Are you going? I wish I could go, especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack? What's he gonna do? Announce the weather for next week? Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. Jack? Really? <laughs> no, he's into comedy. Would have loved to have heckled him. Oh well, this is a good week anyhow. Riz. Because you're sitting here with me? Alrighty, here oh, are no. your beverages, oh, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer. As a certain kitchen helper, the oh, no. freezer was a good place for storing steaks. Uh, I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them. You seem a little stressed. Is it the upcoming open mic? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better be there, Robert Harris. Maureen, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, by the way, Meredith, I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. Excuse me, Meredith. We're this is Maureen's jurisdiction. You have to obey the law. We're on a date. Mmm, that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic blueberry pie. I thought pie. you were checking You're on welcome. some wiring, not her blueberry pie. Up stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, I swear. She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? Oh boy, the world would be boring without her. <laughs> Speaking even see of, the steak, I are know. you going your daily delivery round? It depends on who's on the round. Oh, anyone in particular you don't like? Oh it's no! Right to gossip. No, there's no one I don't like. Oh. Is that the the little nerd who plays his game? <laughs> um. That that guy that keeps playing his game. But Matt Kearney is a piece of work. Ah uh, yes, that's sorry excuse for a human being. I bet fantasy's a mistake. Yeah, I thought it was a flirty option. Oh, well, I thought it was small like towns can't like everyone. Can't I thought it was like either. oh, you know, I particularly like it when you were on my route. Have you always lived in a small town? Yeah, Providence Oaks is my second one. After my divorce, I had to move away from the first. Everything and everyone reminded me of her. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not say that. I can imagine that. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. Wouldn't be a bother at all. Robert and oh Meredith, my God, sorry please. to break up your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. Gotta set up some stuff for the open mic night, and I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Maureen. No problem. Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two to your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling. Oh, no. Do you think Robert wants to pay? Let him pay. What, let him put- I feel like he offered. <laughs> let him pay. You pay half. So, my thing would be, I wouldn't say do you mind if I pay, or at least half of it. 
I would say, are you sure you don't want me to pay half of it? You know? Because I feel like it's saying, do you mind if I pay? It's like, do you mind if I pay? You know? with it though not me thinking i want to look up the walkthrough just to see yeah it seems it's the hardest part of the game <laughs> yeah no he had a steak as well he had a steak a beer and then we shared some pie i think i just feel like this option is an offering Oh, did I pay? Yeah, we're lucky these aren't time limited that we just get to stare at each other. I feel like I might let him pay. I feel like I've got a... no walkthroughs in real life. Nobody's giving me the eye. <laughs> There's no one giving me the option uh, or like the answer online of whether I should let him pay or not. I just want to know. If <laughs> I think let him pay. What did you guys say? Thanks, Robert. Okay. This is a non-binding poll. poll. is uh 1986 hey strider maybe it doesn't matter you guys think thanks robert hmm But yeah, let's say thanks, Robert. Then you guys think so? Yeah, we'll pay next time. Yeah, with um for mine and Greg's first date, Greg paid for the Greg paid, but I paid for like the um like the fuel and stuff, like the car, like uh, the parking, the fuel. So that's thanks, thanks. Robert. Don't mention it. You've helped me out so much. This is nothing compared to that. Now let's get going before Maureen gets her broom out. Meredith, thanks again for your help. I'm not sure what would have happened if you hadn't come here for your mail delivery vacation.
Might actually extend my stay here. Yeah. Extend my stay here. What was that? Are serious? That would be. We're standing outside nice. of a storm. What does nice mean? I don't know what these options mean. <laughs> that would have been a horrible choice. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Quite a class. Nice. Good night, Mary. Wait. Wait, did I fuck that up, lads? I don't know what he just said to me. <laughs> did I fuck that up? You too, Robert. But you're not leaving without a hug. Did we? I don't know what it all means. I could never have predicted delivering mail for two weeks would be like this. Uh, some of them, uh, blah, blah, blah. I've met many new people. Some of them are really nice. Some of them are a little less so, but all interesting. My temporary mail job officially ends tomorrow. It has changed my outlook on life for which I am grateful regardless of the actual experience I changed. Oh Christ. That probably also holds true for tonight's open mic at Moe's Diner. <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, oh, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, wanna give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those steaks are too high. <laughs> Uh -huh. This one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, what car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens. <laughs> That was quite good because I did well, drive down, folks, down the wrong way. Well, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic after all. <laughs> it's actually time for a little break right now. So come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So... Do you like the hair? Looking fine as always. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time and money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by unannounced and he's staying the whole weekend does she like her son oh that's wonderful news mm -hmm. all right well anyway <laughs> take care dear now where did he park the car Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? Oh, 
Hi, Matt. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss, the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I love I everyone my foot staring out in at anger us. And fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. Oh, poor you. I hope you'll be okay. Poor again soon. you. I hope so. I can't even use my computer right now. Dear people, none other than our own Kate Evans. I don't know whether we'll get the music next. for this. She has been writing songs it's... since she was a little girl. Turn off the music because uh, it's copyrighted. I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together the for Kate. The blinds are there for ambiance. Okay, here goes nothing. And on and on and on. And on and da 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 I pull up to a crossroads. I could drive on or go left, go right. Suddenly these choices make me smile. What if I just enjoy the ride? Life's a game of chance. For every break you get, you'll leave another behind. Just as long as you keep trying, you'll get there. Oh, da 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 da. Oh. <laughs> Let's stop here. Looks like you're getting tired. <laughs> Thank hey, you, Pixel. You have left Thank me. You. Oh, thank you, Kay, people. Another um, round of applause. The sound, yeah, it was. Um, and the music was copyrighted. Well, it's a good thing I didn't so, leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, thanks. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Mr. Mackey is going slightly hard of hearing, so. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish, but I'd rather be home right now. Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Oh my god, it's September right what? now. Thank you so Are we playing much for this very much in the I right? I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. Yeah. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place, Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. Kay's place, huh? Congratulations. That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, Cute. as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? Oh, Stephen, good one? Bad one? That was amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know? Like, shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. How did it feel to be up there? Oh, it was so great to be performing again. It felt amazing. I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will... Definitely be doing that again. If they let me, of course. That's great. I am so proud of you, Kay. Wow, well, since really I said the best a great one life here. Thanks, Em. I'd like to think so. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so I just want to say it was good to have you back these past weeks, Em. Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise you'll keep in touch? 
Whatever the outcome, yeah? Of course! And remember, time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See ya, Kay. Thanks. Not sure if Greg has, For but everything. Sus definitely has. Oh. My lovely people! The time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next, but I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us, and there's plenty of food and drink to go around. It's going to be expensive getting the sign redone, isn't it? I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? Oh, it was great. Kay was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner at Kay's place, huh? Oh, no. That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. Oh, yeah, an A from it's Stan's. Yeah. she wants it. A... And if she doesn't, And then we've got the apostrophe S still there as well. Yeah, but how do you make a choice like that? If you don't even know what your own situation will end up looking like. Something on your mind, hon? I don't know. I'm feeling a bit weird about tomorrow. How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected, and I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women, and if that's the choice you two ended up on, oh my God, I can look. only can you respect see Frank? that. Speaking of choices, you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around, move back? Absolutely, not a speck of doubt. Well then, Miss Wise, I salute your resolve. Actually, I'm lying. <laughs> Thanks, Maureen. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Take care, I think Maureen. we are near the end. I think we fucked up the bit with Robert, though. I don't think we managed to romance him. Metro Gaming, thank you very much for the follow. Dear Welcome Meredith in. Weiss. Thank you for participating in our annual photography contest. Your wonderful picture did not win the grand prize, oh. but you are still a winner. I know, I'm actually a loser. The you a 20% discount to our autumn course. Sign up today and never take a blurry picture again. David Gillespie, Photography for Beginners, Inc. Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the angels, just like you said, and won. Wow. They played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know That's what Frank. to do anymore. I can't. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. You're gambling, <laughs> Frank. I think yeah, I think you need to stop gambling, Frank. Um, but I feel like I can't just. Stop gambling. You're a gambling addict beyond salvation. Haha, <laughs> Meredith. I guess you're right. I guess I don't mind. <laughs> Speaking Frank. of gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. And yes, I want to wear it a bit longer. Fantastic. So you'll be delivering the mail today? Frank. I'll like give HR a call and tell them the vacancy is filled. Uh, not way, so fast, Frank. That's it's what I don't want it to sound like. Thank you. I don't want a fair share of his bookie profit. Oh my god, can you imagine if I'm like... 
If you get in a predicament with Walter Morgan again, you're on your own. Ha! You got it. I'll have Morgan for breakfast. Now, let's get to work. The mail doesn't deliver itself. Okay, let's see what today's weather will be like. P.O. people, good morning! Today's weather will be nothing short of gorgeous. And I can't wait to go outside and head We are heading acres. towards but Robert's not house. Sharon, you know what? P.O. positive or that piece? I don't need callers for today's P.O. positive. I'm picking it myself. <laughs> I'm talking about Moe's open mic last night. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'm sorry if I offended anyone with my jokes. Well, no, actually, I am not sorry. Not sorry at all. Thank you much, Mo and Kay, for hosting it. It's just one of the things that makes Providence Oaks the best Is place in the world. Place? Have I'm a pulling. great day. What's this guy up to? Wait, is that Robert? Y yeah, yeah, Robert, I'll pull over. Robert's hey, wearing Meredith, the same sorry shirt. About that. I hope it didn't scare you. <laughs> hey, Robert. What's no, going on? You just tried to well, run me off the road, This Robert. is going to sound super awkward and hopeless and desperate and right. probably a lot more things, but I don't want you to leave. I've decided a while ago that I'm done with stuff like this, but I guess it's not something you can decide. Robert, that's so sweet of you, but I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. I am... Wait, what? You're not going? It's not because of you! Oh my god. It, it's can... nice here. Oh, Still wow. bottle it. Okay, great. Well, I might as well blurt it all out. I like you. A lot. I didn't want to give in to it. I've been through a rough breakup once. And I didn't want to risk ever feeling like that again. So, what do you propose? That I just get in your car right now? I wasn't gonna propose, but yeah, <laughs> Meredith, I'd love that. I mean, I wouldn't. Okay. Coffee at Moe's? And a piece of pie. Sorry for button in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just we did it, updated Lance. my we did playlist. It. This new song is from our very own. Cam. Oh no! Don't make me do the singing again. <laughs> we did it. Yep. Just left the mail. I wanted a cool Steve again as well. I wanted a cool Steve. Tell him to shove his <laughs> where to shove his job. That was good, wasn't it? Oh, that was such a good game. That was really good. I want to see what all the pictures are. Steve is too rich to care. I don't know. He was um really reliant on us. I just called to vent my displeasure. <laughs> what are we going to play next? So we've got Honey, I Joined a Cult as well. But there is also a different mode for this game, which I'm tempted to just try out before we close it off. Yeah, we can start tomorrow's game today. I think what the time is. We already had an hour left. Is it? <laughs> no, it's an endless mail mode. It's 
so we will see. I'm just kind of, I'm kind of curious whether people have anything to say to us or whether it is just, you know, just delivering the mail. That was really good. Start Wednesday's game last Friday. Yeah, we've got Honey I joined a cult in for tomorrow. And I've got it in for Wednesday, but I just I've got it in for Wednesday, but we can change it if we don't like it. Or if I don't like it, I suppose. Um, just a cult. I think that we make our own cult. Which is even better. Yeah, look at all the songs we didn't get to hear. But you got to hear my cool playlist of lo-fi music, which I thought was very nice. Yeah, I just, I thought if we didn't like it, we could cancel Wednesday and change it. And then this game also has a Christmas uh, DLC, which I'm not sure how long it is, but I will reveal today that we'll play it over Christmas, play it in December. So we only have until, uh, so I'd, I'm not here next week, we're not here next week for streams, but we're back on the week after. So we've only got, got dog birthday on Friday, so there's only three streams this week that we need a game for. Yeah, because Spooktober starts the week after, so when I come back. Can our relationship with Robert last till Christmas? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So I don't know who you get to play as for the Christmas DLC. It doesn't look like it's Meredith just from the pictures. What about fans for October? So we'll be doing Grim Fandango in October. We will also be playing... Do you want me to... Do you want me to reveal today October's plans? Because we ironed out most of it yesterday. Um, we will be playing Message in a Haunted Mansion, Nancy Drew game. Most people say it's the scariest Nancy Drew they've ever played. So considering I nearly cried at Shadow of the Water's Edge, so I'm hopeful that this one's going to be quite scary. And we'll be playing Inscription. Guys, we're as you guys suggested, inscription. Yeah. And I also have, there's a horror. Do you guys remember Sucker for Love? You remember the um, Valentine's Day game we played, Sucker for Love? There is a second game come out now and it's a horror game. Like, it's got more horror in it. I have that as well for when we finish one of our other games. Got that lined up. Yeah, there's a like a an actually scary, scary, scary bit. Yeah, very much more horror. So I thought we would enjoy that. Yeah, so you guys won't be here. <laughs> I'll still be here. Yeah, so that is the plans for October. More games than we usually play, but I hope Endless Mode Off has never ending cycle of new days with new delivery lists. No new stories of dialogue. Just driving around pretty Lake Town. Okay. Let's give it let's give it a couple of days or one day a go for the endless mode before we load up the new game. So I think it will be plenty of horror. I think I think it'll be plenty of horror. And possibly scarier than last year. Because last year we did... Do you reckon there's any NPCs? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we just... I think we deliver things. And then it starts a new day, though. 
I think it'll be scarier than last year though, because last year we did uh, Silent Hill, the original Silent Hill, didn't we? Let me see if I can hit this person. No, it does stop me. Yeah, last year we did Silent Hill. Which wasn't not that it was not that scary, was it? Hey Arthur, would ya? Oh, we also ha will, hopefully. Oh shit, I didn't mean to get in my car again. Hopefully. Uh, I don't want to guarantee this 100% just in case it doesn't pan out. Um, is it Main Street? Is this where this boss is going? Okay. Hopefully we will have a little bit of a kind of Halloween-y themed horror croft. Oh, is it back around here? Ooh! Oh, they butt hurt. I bet they'll be on sale as well. I'm not sure who I'm supposed to be delivering this package to. We'll do this package last then. Yes, this is Portland. No, we can't destroy any fences, unfortunately. No, but we don't have one to deliver here. Oh, maybe here. <laughs> maybe we do. Yeah, so I wanted to have a little bit more variety than other years. It's 1986, nope. not... No, no one's, answer. you know... No one's going out. Hardly anyone's got cars. They can squeeze past as well. Look, there's plenty of room for a second car there. Yeah, and I think we've got more variety of type of game as well. With Inscription and Grim Fandango and Nancy Drew. I'm, to be honest, I'm probably the most excited for Nancy Drew. Because Nancy Drew usually has some... Left their package in the raid? Well, that's their fault for not being home. That sounds like a them problem, doesn't it? <laughs> My package of sugar! That is a them problem. Yeah, Nancy Drew always has a lot of drama, a-hole NPCs. And um, I've, it's got quite a lot of cheap scares. You know, like the Shadow at the Water's Edge had a lot of jump scares. No, 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 that wasn't a stop sign. No, 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 it said, um, said shop. It's a, uh, it's a sign for Amazon. I have seen a few American flags around, mostly in businesses though. Mostly inside businesses uh, along Main Street. Yeah, it's just a suggestion. It's like, would you like to stop? The answer's no. Oh yeah, it's so cute, isn't it, Tech? I've seen that one. I love it. Oh, so cute. I know they're not pets. I know, you know, don't... Don't steal raccoons off of a street and take it, take one in as a pet, but... They're so cute. And they got little... They're little fingers and their little thumbs. And they're just... They're just such trash goblins that they will just eat anything. Oh, really? A wash bear? What a cutie. No, we can't steal people's cars. What kind of car is this, lads? Just assuming you guys will know better than me. 
but yeah, I hope you, I hope you're looking forward to Spooktober. I, I tried to, or we've tried to, variety. Because it's becoming surprisingly difficult to find, well, it's not difficult to find horror games. Obviously, there's plenty out there, but they're like, they're right. They're like, the right one is a bit difficult. It's just an orange car. Oh, a Dodge Charger, you think? It was a Dodge Charger. Are they common in the US or? Uh, we missed a package. I'm glad. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Yeah, horror games that aren't too scary, but also are just scary enough as well. So I, I don't want them to be... I want them to be more scary than, say, Crimson Manor, which was just horror vibes without actually any, like, spook to them. And I don't want a, uh, my thing is, is I don't want any horror games that leave me feeling like too sad. And I know that's going to sound really like obviously better horror games are going to be sad, but I just, I feel like some horror games just leave me feeling, I don't know, you know, they're, they're just depressing rather than. All right. I'll leave it on the doorstep. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they just, they're just depressing rather than scary. So I want the scariness without the sadness as well. Yeah, yeah, why do they have to be all about traumatic experiences? Yeah, I don't know. I... Yeah. And I don't want too much body horror. See, look, it starts to get like it starts to get starts to get narrowed down because we don't want me fainting on stream, right? <laughs> so I don't want too much like you know. I played the most charming little horror game because Nancy Drew tends to be quite a good medium of it is quite scary. But Nancy doesn't leave me feeling like really sad afterwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the doll. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty creepy and not depressing. That's true. Yeah, it didn't leave you feeling too 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 sad, is it? Like, is there not a, a positive horror game? Like, you're going around a spooky little circus. Hmm. Roger, looking for horror games that keep both the feelings and the internal organs on the inside. <laughs> exactly! Exactly! <laughs> you think so. Yeah, I want everything kept internalized, please. The Blackwell series works. Ooh, that was slightly depressing. I don't mind a little bit. <laughs> don't mind like a little sprinkling of depression. Um, yeah, it's just like an a, a emotional ringer, like you said. Yeah. Mm. Oh, like Hello Neighbor. I think I've seen videos of Hello Neighbor and I. <laughs> Here's your mail. I don't like it. I mean, I, w I maybe. It would be a good option because I didn't like it because I got scared. Life is Strange. Oh, so Life is Strange is a little bit sad for me. I feel like Life is Strange falls down on the emotional ringer side of things. Yeah. I think it would make me sad. I like a game that will make me laugh. <laughs> That's the last of them. 
<laughs> I feel like that's not um not quite life is strange. We'll do one more day. This was quite nice and relaxing. I cried playing that game. I said I want my game to be tissue free. <laughs> tissue free gaming, please. Yeah. I don't know, what did we play that I cried at last? There was a game that I got a little bit weepy at the end. It was a game that we played recently as well. Oh my god, you're... Oh. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh my... He hit me! He hit me! Somebody take down his no license plate number. I remember I cried at Yakuza. Yakuza made me cry. I've got no idea what I cried at recently. Oh, maybe it was Uncharted. I actually, like, I felt a little bit... A bit of eye dampness. Yeah, Yakuza Zero. Right. Possibly one did as well. I can't remember. Might have just been zero. Oh, totally resorted to a guide to prevent a major plot point from occurring. And you did it when they left the room so they wouldn't know. I haven't played Yakuza's Heaven. I've only played Zero, One, and Two. Right, we'll do one more. I would quite like to drive a little bit further out if that's... I was hoping that maybe we'd have a delivery for like Robert or someone. Right, we'll do one more day, then we'll start up. Honey, I joined a cult. What's that truck doing in a residential area? Maybe somebody's expecting a really big package. I really like this morning sun. I sometimes feel teary-eyed because of happiness. That's my, my preferable crying state. I don't know, sometimes when a character you really like gets a happy ending, it just makes me... just so happy for them. Oh, maybe a moving company? Sometimes, sometimes they just really deserve happy endings and it's just... Nice. Yeah, the weeping weenie. It's just, you know... Well, you want the best for the characters you like. Oh, that clapping scene in Ava. <laughs> One of many good hand-related scenes in Evangelion. Yeah, I like a happy ending to my games. I think that games that end on like a hopeful note. Whether, you know, it's, I guess it's not realistic for all games to end, hopefully, but. You know, it makes me feel better about myself, so. I would have liked to have seen the other ending of this, us going back to our job for Steve Jobs. I wonder whether we would have seen Robert and he would have asked me to stay and then I could have decided to stay. After speaking to him. And then everything <laughs> seemed hopeless turned out okay. Oh yeah. I don't know if I've ever... So I haven't ever read any, like fanfic but I've or fanfic but I've seen um I've obviously read the Cassandra Clare books or I've read two of them anyway which is technically I think was based on her fanfic um, her incest fanfic infamously actually Sect? 
Good morning. Well, good, good afternoon. Sex, would you like to hear what we're playing for Spooktober? I, uh... I told everyone while, while you weren't here. That's why you should stop at intersections. Well, what was... They could have stopped, couldn't they? So we've got Grim Fandango. We've got Nancy, du Nancy Drew. The... Nancy Drew message in a haunted mansion, which lots of people have said was their favorite Nancy Drew, or their scare most scariest Nancy Drew, uh, Inscription, and Sucker for Love 2. You remember we played Sucker for Love 1. The second one is much more horror orientated. Oh, the Telltale Walking Dead games. I did worry that I've seen, so I've seen them be played through. So they're not, they wouldn't be kind of new to me. It wouldn't be a first, well, it would be my first time playing them through vibes. I have seen them. I didn't know if they would be a bit sad. There you go, Rooks has got it. And a crafting stream as well, if that, for that, any promises. No, that's not stamped with the badger guarantee. Mm, I thought Grim Fandango would give us a nice break if I get very scared by Inscription and Nancy Drew. This Nancy Drew game is terrifying. Ooh. Probably, maybe Nancy, and I think Sucker for Love is gonna be quite scary as well. Because I've watched the I've watched the trailer and it does look. Oh, the first of November. So I'll be leading you into it with the uh, with that then. <gasps> that was totally I had right way there. It is, but it's a horror one this time, sex. It's a horror one. <laughs> I am a little baby though, so I thought that I might find inscription a little bit much. That's the last of them. A baby. I would like to play the Telltale Jurassic Park games. They're all not on Steam anymore. We'll do a little drive around the lake and then we'll head back. Ninety percent of it, but then see, I'm gonna find the ninety percent scary because I'm waiting for the ten percent to happen. <laughs> I know a spook's coming, guys. It's like shitty Crimson Manor. There was no scares, but because I was convinced that it was a horror game, I spent all of it crawling around these rooms, terrified that somebody's gonna jump out at me. Hey, Moon Fluffy. Morning, Guy Fawkes. Uh, fifth of November. Remember, remember the 5th of November of Gunpowder, Treason and Plot. Uh, something, 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 uh, something, something, something. Meredith was run out of town after she crashed into everyone's cars. I'm just creating ghost drivers, okay? Does this say? Bear Creek Bridge. Oh, you should ask me to do the national anthem next, Rooks. Save our gracious king. Glory to our noble king. God save the king. Na, 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 na. Glorious. Na, na, and na, na, na. Long may he reign over us. God save the king. Britain rule the waves. Na, 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 na. <laughs> yeah. Do you salute during that song? 
No, usually people just stand up, I think, and take off their hats. It's usually the, uh, the correct... <laughs> yeah, I would like a bit, you know, if I could pick the national anthem, it would be nice if our national anthem was a little more, a little bit more jolly. You know, God save our gracious King, Lord live our noble King, God save the King. It's a bit like, it's a bit dreary. Sometimes people like touch their hearts. Yeah, I've seen some people suggest different national anthems. Rule Britannia is a little bit more jolly. Uh, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know the don't know all the words for Rule Britannia, so I don't know whether it is really a whether it's a good one to pick. But, yeah, I've seen some, some other suggestions for it. Maybe a Spice Girls song. Oh, the US National Anthem. Or Notoriously Tricky. Yeah, I've heard some um, not-so-good renditions of the US National Anthem. The free and the home of the brave, or is it the the land of the brave and the home of the free? Yeah, what direction? Good. <laughs> Harry Styles. Oh, brave comes second. I always get it wrong when I'm singing along to the uh, U.S. national anthem during the Olympics. <laughs> At least get our last parking job right. And yet Britannia the raves. I suppose we're not very... Are we still quite boaty? We're not that boaty, I feel like. No, we're not done yet, Kent. No, 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 no. My granddad used to do this all the time when he was parking. He'd spend like half an hour going in and out of the parking space to make sure that he had gotten it exactly lined up. Yeah. If Scare Alerts will be back? Yeah, we'll have um, I'm sure we'll have some of them. I'm not sure. We haven't decided exactly on the... Oh my God. And then Frank does a really shitty parking job here as well. Yeah, I think um, some of them will be back at least. I'm not sure we've decided quite exactly which ones or how many oh hang on guys we have to see there you go season's greetings see look there's a guy i don't know who that man is i wonder if it's meredith's dad maybe we get to play as her dad a little bit earlier because no it's just he just really wanted to get his parking exactly Point perfect. Maybe we'll see. Season's greed. It's Christmas time, nineteen eighty-five. You take on the role of Meredith's dad, Tom Weiss. And will be treated to a warm reunion with Providence Oaks and its habit <laughs> inhabitants. Get answers to questions that were teased in Lake. Meet five completely new characters and find out which role an almost retired postal worker can play in delivering the Christmas spirit to Providence Oaks. Yeah, that's the DLC. So we will probably play that over. Christmas. Oh, I could look. I peep that we get to um, spend some time with Robert. 
That's cute. That's super cute. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just putting it in my schedule for uh, Christmas as well. So I don't forget. I know in two months time I'll be like, what? What did I say I was going to play? I said I was going to play Lake? What was Lake? Uh, get to spend some time with a silver fox of a dad. Oh, is it, Doc? <laughs> I quite like the, um, like, tune-wise, because obviously I don't know what they're saying. Uh, the German national anthem. I always thought it had a quite good, good tune to it. over as well. 